Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to add a trail to the character when we evade so that we can sell out our evading mechanism and emphasize the evading to the player more in a better way and this is I'm doing this as a suggestion I got for the last video so this is the demonstration so when I when this guy try to attack me I'll evade like this and you see some trail just like the sword trail this trail from character is visible like this okay so that's what I'm going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me it means a lot to me also if you want to support my work you can go to patreon.com till I'll put the link in the description below and there you can get the membership of my club and in the club you can ask any questions you have I'll try to help in the best way I can also you will have the access to project files depending on your membership like that you will have some privileges alright so let's get back to work alright so to implement the trail of the character we can use the feature that we have in Unreal Engine called Weapon Trail. Sorry, not Weapon Trail, Anim Trail. But uh, to implement Anim Trails, we need to have a separate animation. I'll show you how I did implement this Weapon Trails for the weapons. Because as you can see, I'll just show you now. We already have this Trails for the weapon, just like this white trail. So I'll show you, I, I already have done a tutorial on how to implement that effect, but I'll show it again. So here, I have this cube animation. This is just a cube. And the reason I did use a cube is that this weapon is, is a a static mesh and I need a skeletal mesh to add anim trails and this cube is that skeletal mesh I am going to use just for the trail rendering and this is where I spawn or enable that trail here with this animation I created for that in this animation here I have created this trail data it's uh, something like uh, anim notify state just like an anim notify but it has a duration rather than a once one time frame okay so I'm gonna use that same thing if you are not clear about how did I come up with this you can refer to my sword trail video I'll put a link in the description below and yeah I'm going to use the same component for the character trail as well okay so first so this is this is just a skeletal mesh component and I have this function to enable that so instead of doing that I'll create a different component so that I can use that trail component in any blueprint I want so that would be much better approach to do that so where should I implement that 
I'll create a new folder called effects in the BP and create a component. I don't have that under blueprint so I'll go here and yeah we have this scene component and actor component I think I can use this scene component I'll call it BP trail okay it does not have anywhere to attach some object so that means I can't use a scene component let's try creating an actor component then pp trail well this one also don't have a place to add some component okay if we can't do it like that then let's forget about this component thing for now and I'll just do it in the just like the way I have done in my weapon just I'll add this trail component can I copy it yes so I'll open my human character and let's paste it right I can paste it and I'll enable its visibility because I need to match its height with the character okay and I'll again hide the visibility this is under yeah I'll put it under mesh okay and then what have I done here okay I'll copy the same thing here and I'll put it under sounds and effect paste it so this is a custom event I'll call it toggle trail and I should name this one as the trail right then I'll increase this duration to actually no I'll do it like this I don't need this part I'll make it stop when I put toggle trail with false okay now this is where I enable dodging here just like I showed you yesterday and actually this is very short time 0 0.03 okay it doesn't matter let's uh, let me try this first enabling uh, trail toggle trail enable let's uh, first try this and then later let's disable it right we get yeah we get that trail so I think I should increase the intensity just a little bit to see it properly so where do I increase the intensity is it under let's see 
this is the trail and yeah this is the trail particle effect I'll okay I'll duplicate this and P trail name it P trail evade so this is the evade trail and I'll use this one in oh, well I can't change it like that so then I'm gonna have to again create a new animation that's easy I'll just duplicate this one and I'll name it cube anim evade and here instead of this p trail i'll use p trail evade i'll use p trail evade right then i'll play instead of this cube anim i play that cube anim evade now I will have instead of this one I can I can modify this one so I'll increase the lifetime a little more so that I can clearly see the trail let's actually it's not the lifetime that makes this trail visible it's this uh, alpha over life value and I can access that in here so so this is the alpha over life value and I'll increase it a little bit more like this now let's check yes now it's a little more visible okay so now let's uh, go to that so we after enabling that I don't disable it in my character therefore I'll do the same thing here I'm not going to use this one okay now let's check again right now it disables just like the sword trail okay so that's all I wanted to do for today and and in the next episode uh, I haven't thought about what to do next May I feel free to suggest any stuff you need and also we will continue to improve this and yeah many more things we have to do in order to complete a game right so see you in the next episode goodbye